It's strawberry picking season around here, and everywhere you go, there are homegrown strawberries. So we're gonna take advantage of it and make a strawberry shortcake. We're gonna take our homegrown strawberries, slice them up thin, mix them with some sugar, let them sit for a while to create a syrupy strawberry mixture. Then we're gonna layer that on top of our homemade shortcake biscuits. We're gonna make our own dough, we're gonna roll it out, form our biscuits, bake them, and then layer our strawberry mixture on top, finished with our homemade whipped cream. It's another out of this world summer dessert. You're gonna love it. But before we start, if you haven't already, do me a favor and click the subscribe button for me. First step in our strawberry shortcake recipe, we're gonna slice up two pints of our homegrown strawberries into little slices. Once the two pints are sliced up into little slices, we're gonna add in some sugar and that's gonna help us create the syrupy strawberry mixture that we're gonna put on top of our homemade shortcake biscuits. Okay, that's two pints of strawberries. They were washed, we sliced them thin. Now we're gonna take a quarter of these and put them into our glass bowl. We're gonna take our fork and we're gonna squish our strawberries. We're gonna squeeze all the juice out that we can. This is gonna help our strawberry mixture. This is gonna mix. And try to release all the juices that we can. All right, let's drop the rest of the strawberries in with the ones that we mashed up. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of sugar. The sugar helps pull the moisture out of the strawberries to create the syrup that we're looking for to go with the shortcake. All right, cover your strawberries with plastic wrap and let them sit in the fridge for at least an hour. So while the strawberries sit in the sugar to make the syrup, we're gonna make our dough. We're gonna make the dough for the shortbread biscuits. Uh, we're gonna take four cups of flour and sift it with three tablespoons of sugar, five teaspoons of baking powder, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. Once it's sifted, let's go ahead and mix the dry ingredients together. And now we're gonna take three quarters of a cup of butter. It's softened, that's a stick and a half of butter. And we're just gonna press it into our dry ingredients here. Once the butter's pressed into the dry ingredients, let's add in one and a quarter cup of heavy cream. All right, mix the cream in with your dry ingredients. And that's gonna start forming our dough. We gotta get our hands dirty. Let's start mushing our dough together into a ball. Let's flour our cutting board here before we dump our dough on it. All right. Once we've kneaded it four or five times, about a minute worth, let's get a rolling pin and make sure it is floured a bit. Let's roll the dough to about a half inch thickness. All right, and with a three inch cookie cutter, or I'm using a glass, this is about three and a half inches, we're gonna cut our little biscuit shapes out of the dough. Now you wanna make sure you cut an even number of biscuits out because when we bake them, we stack them on top of each other. I dip the edges of my glass in flour so it helps the dough not to stick. So I have eight biscuits cut out. I'm gonna put four of them on an ungreased cookie sheet. And now we're gonna brush the tops of these four with a little bit of melted butter. All right, let's put the other four biscuits on top of these. This is gonna make it easier to spread the biscuits apart once they're baked. Brush a little butter on the top of these. So my oven is preheated to 375. We're gonna bake our biscuits for about 20 minutes, all right? So while the strawberries marinate and the biscuits cool, we're gonna make our whipped cream. I get tips from you guys all the time, and God knows I need them. The biggest tip I get about making whipped cream uh, is that I should use cold cream, and also the bowl that I mix in should also be cold. So I keep both in the fridge until I'm ready to use them. All right, so whipped cream. We're gonna take a cup of heavy whipping cream, a quarter cup of powdered sugar, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. 
All right, we're gonna mix this on high until we get our firm peaks. Whipped cream's done, strawberries have been marinated, biscuits are probably cool. Let's go ahead and construct our strawberry shortcake. So we've let our biscuits cool for about 15, 20 minutes. The biscuits are still warm. You wanna serve them warm, uh, but not hot. So let's split the biscuit in two. And now we want to take some melted butter and just like lightly brush the insides of both pieces. All right, we're making two layers of shortcake, berries, and whipped cream. Uh, we're gonna take the bottom biscuit for the bottom layer. Give your strawberries a good stir. Then we're gonna layer on our berries. Put lots of juice. Give the biscuit something to absorb. All right, on top of our berries, we do our whipped cream. Now, for most people, that would be plenty. No, we're taking our top biscuit, putting it back on, looks like a giant sandwich, and we're gonna layer some more. We got more berries. We'll top it all off with a little more whipped cream. And that is, that is a homemade strawberry shortcake. So these biscuits are terrific. If you don't like strawberries, you can use any kind of fruit. Uh, just make them the same way, throw your fruit on. Uh, if you have some jam, use some jam with it as well. So I am going to get out of this hot kitchen and enjoy my strawberry shortcake. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button for me. And if you wanna see more videos like this dessert video, check out my dessert playlist. I'll see you guys next time.